Hey guys, what is going on? ITFC101 here yet again, bringing you some more Magic 2012. Today, on the 14th of September 2011, the first DLC came out for Magic 2012, so I've got it here on Xbox. And I, I was quite lazy and I bought all the cards for the new decks, and because I'd bought some bought some of the older decks as well, I get all them as well. But I did have to play a few games to get them all unlocked, but I've got all the cards now. I got all my decks nice and trim and I'm going to bring you my first game with each of the new decks. I've never played any of them one properly before. I've looked through the cards cause to trim it down but I'm not really sure what I will be doing. So <laughs> um, if I don't win I don't win but um, let's see what we can do. What's this? Requires downloadable content. Um, okay I don't know what that's about. Is there going to have to be a new... You can only play people who's got the DLC now, is it? Alright, let's have a look. Let's go for the Mono Black first. Grave Whispers. It's the discard deck. It looked a pretty cool deck, actually. Just looking through the cards. But, of course, I've never played it before, so... Anything can happen here, really. I mean... I'm not expecting to win, I'm just giving you guys a look at the deck, so he's gone, of course, with the new patch, you can't dance anymore, which is absolutely brilliant, I'm glad they finally fixed it, we knew we would, they would in the first, um, the first patch, but anyway, let's see what we've got here, I literally don't know what any of the cards do, pretty much, um, uh, resembling skin, that comes back, so that looks like a pretty good card, that makes him discard a card, that deals damage to the amount of cards, that discards cards, and no, a flashback, I think you can get that back or something. Something like that. You, or you can play it. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It looks like he might be playing the same deck. It, I think this is the same deck. So we're playing the mirror, which is really annoying. Um, yeah. That is really annoying. I'd hate playing mirrors. But I guess you're going to get that when everyone wants to try the new deck and everything like that. So we're going to play the rack. Of course, you can choose one player. So let's just make sure it goes in my go, so he can play. There we go. As the rack enters the battlefield, choose the opponent. So I use him at the beginning of this chosen player's upkeep. The rack deals X damage to the player, where X is three minus the number of cards in his hand. So that's not going to be useful for a while. But he's got loads of. He's got a couple of enchantments where I'm going to have to discard cards, and it's going to lose me life, which is a real shame. But I've got my first creature up on the board. Is it Reassembling Skeleton? Yep. So you can get him back onto the battlefield for a cost of one and a, and a swamp. Okay, he's got nothing to play right now. Um, so I could get... And then he discards a card. Each opponent. Oh, each opponent. Okay. And then mind you, I could get him to discard two cards. Um, I really want to get this out there, so I'm going to... He's got his deck trimmed as well, so I don't know if he's got the deck trimmed or he just hasn't got all the cards yet. I really don't know. But he's going to have to discard a card now. But luckily for him, I don't have any, um, any enchantments like he's got where when you discard a card it makes you lose life. So he's lucky that I haven't got any of them at the minute. This guy is absolutely huge. So he's got three cards in hand, so next time I might play Mind Rot and then that'll do some damage. He's, he's doing Mind Rot to me, so I've got to discard two cards. Um, put that and... I really need the land, but I'm going to Mind Rot him, so I'll get rid of the land. And then he, I lose four life because of this. That's a really good, really good play for him. But he's going to lose one life now. Well, at the end of... No, he might not, actually. Um, that's the thing he's got over on his side. When a creature dies, you may put a... But I actually want to mind rot him. It's just learning about this deck. So he needs to get rid of both of his cards. Which is pretty sweet as a land. Oh, two lands. That's pretty bad, actually. I thought at least he must have a creature card or something. But nope. But I'm hitting him for three here. And he will lose three life here, I believe. Because he has no cards in hand. So lose three life. That's pretty sweet. And then he gets his card. Hopefully he'd draw the land. But it doesn't look like he has. 
another mind rot. That's pretty. That's pretty beast for him, actually. So I just need to get rid of my two cards. That's a shame. He drew two of the mind rots. It's pretty clutch for him. It makes me lose a lot of life. So again, he's going to lose three life next turn. I might as well just play that because then if he plays a discard, I've got nothing to discard. Hit him for three, then he loses three again with the rack. Yeah, this deck is a lot of fun. Even though it could be could end up getting annoying. No one's there. if it's a mirror, no one's gonna get any cards. If you're playing the this deck, you'll you're always gonna have and he's left, so he must have drew the land or something, but that was my first game with this deck. I don't know whether to upload that because it was just a a default win, but I guess I will, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll be trying the white green enchantment deck. See you later guys.